Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing December favorites. I know, another favorites video. I promise you that this was this was in the plans. I did my 2021 beauty roundup. If you missed that, I will link it here and also below for your viewing pleasure to see all of the products that I loved throughout the year. But today I specifically wanted to talk about my December favorites because this Landmas was filled with a lot of lovely videos. And there were also a lot of makeup videos and there were a definitely some consistent favorite products that you guys saw a lot throughout this last month. So I still wanted to do a monthly favorites, even though we've already done our, our yearly favorites. So I'm very excited to share my little December wrap up with you today. And first I wanted to mention, uh, I guess like my first favorite we can talk about is, is my eyebrows. And if you'll notice, I've got absolutely nothing on my eyes today. We just, we just did a, a very light skin makeup look today because I recently got my eyebrows microbladed. If you missed that video, I did vlog the whole adventure and I'm very, very excited about it. And because they are still very much in their healing process, and looking very bold they're going to lighten up once the healing process is done and they'll match my my actual hairs and my eyebrows eventually but for now they're healing and I'm not supposed to be putting any products on them and I, you know it was really tough like washing the mascara off and trying to avoid the brows so I just embraced the no mascara, no eye makeup look today, and we're just going with skin. So that's definitely a recent but huge favorite from December was finally getting my brows done. And I can't wait to show you guys their final form in the new year once the healing is done. So definitely check that vlog out if you're interested. And then I also wanted to mention this sweater. I'm gonna like talk about this more in the vlog tomorrow because I did a little H&M haul, but please can we have a moment? for the sweater. This is a new H&M sweater. I'm obsessed. It's this beautiful ribbed wool and cashmere blend sweater. It's beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. The color could not be better. Like I'm telling you, green, green is here to stay in my wardrobe, my people. And I simply had to wear this and embrace the neck. And you know, anyway, really loving this sweater. I will link it in the description box down below. Fingers crossed that it's not sold out already, but this was a fabulous new find for the winter from H&M. And my friends, let's officially dive in to my final favorites of the year, my December favorites. There was so much makeup this, this month, truly so much makeup. And you guys have seen it all consistently. I did start the month off with a winter everyday makeup switch up and pretty much everything I mentioned in that video stayed consistent throughout the month but I wanted to give you a couple of updates on some of the things that I've been loving so first let's talk about the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant right Lifting here. Foundation this little angel right here shake well before use I definitely have not been doing that. Oh, oh, LOL. I have this in the shade 160 shell, and I originally discovered this when following the Kevin Kodra makeup way when I did my TikTok makeup video, and it's been beautiful. I've actually pretty much used it all month long with a few dibbly dabblies here and there. In my makeup collection, I'm going to be slotting this into my more matte finish side, which is funny that I've been using this in the winter, but paired with the Wellita Skin Food, which is a really thick hydrating base to put on the skin it's been totally fine but i find that it gives that more natural matte just skin-like finish it's not as radiant as many other of my more glowy bases would be but it's a beautiful option and just really nice and light and, and really looks like your skin so this was a beautiful discovery from this month and wanted to give it a final extra dose of love here and the next product i wanted to mention is the dior luminizer the couture luminizer in the shade nude glow look at look at her beauty i absolutely love this and it's funny because i actually included these powders in my november favorites and a lot of you were like oh my god i can't believe you didn't mention this in your 2021 beauty roundup and it's funny because i actually did <laughs> When I filmed the beauty roundup, I, I really wanted to pay homage to my matte kit and recognize that I used Whisper of Guilt all year round. Like that truly was my yearly favorite. Obviously I discovered this one in December and towards the very end of the year. So I felt like the MAC Whisper of Guilt was the more true yearly favorite, but I had actually included it in the video. I, I can put a little clip here. I just have to give a shout out to this one because I've been using it so much. I had actually finished my spiel about the MAC Whisper of Guilt and I was like, oh, a little honorable mention to the Dior highlight but we actually cut it for time that happens a lot in the videos there's a lot that we end up cutting out of videos in the editing process just to save time i can really go on and on and on and on and on and on in my blabbing and this was one of those ones where sometimes like the way i say things i just might not like or i might find unnecessary but i also knew that i was planning on filming this december monthly favorites and i was going to talk about it then so i was like ah maybe i'll just let the mac whisper of guilt have its moment but just so you guys know i did actually <laughs> intend on including this in the the year wrap up because it was such a beautiful find i love the color i love the packaging and i love the variety of shades 
that these couture luminizers come in so this has definitely been a favorite huge favorite this month i used it all month long and i will absolutely continue into the new year and what's really nice with this particular shade right now like the mac whisper of guilt is much more warm and golden and perfect for my more like tanned summer skin but right now when i'm like at my most pale there's no tan in sight and it is the winter time this one's a little bit more on that like true champagne more cool toned side so this is really nice for uh the season and the skin that's going on right now so huge favorite lots of love to her i promise and i am sorry <laughs> to those of you who felt led astray in my beauty roundup video <laughs> so let's move on to blush one of the full face videos that i filmed this month was a full face of jones road beauty and, and i'll be completely honest there weren't many products from that video that i continued using after the fact not a lot of products like made it into my daily makeup bag it was nice to try out i'm definitely gonna have to play with the products more but i think the one standout product for me was the blush which was the lip and cheek stick in the shade bright pink i i really love the packaging of this the color is perfect you guys know how much i love a good bright pink i had tragically smushed it into the lid by accident <laughs> my bad you gotta roll that down but this was the most like standout product for me from that video one of the favorites that i tried and i'm curious to know if you guys have played with jones road what your favorite products were and that was my my favorite from the bunch when i filmed that video another blush update also comes from the tiktok video and i wanted to update you on the nars thrill blush because i did sing its praises quite a lot and i like was shocked that i hadn't tried this big beautiful bright pink blush that you'd think would be a favorite of mine over the years because i do love shades like this and i wanted to give you an update because as i was wearing it there was like a week period after i filmed that tiktok makeup video and i was like i just I feel like I look weird. Do you ever put a certain shade on, whether it be blush or eyeshadow, lips? Sometimes you just feel a little bit off. And that was how I felt with this blush. And I couldn't really decide why until I realized that it's not actually, like it looks very bright and like the perfect pink in the pan. But then when you actually put it on, it kind of starts to pull a little bit more warm, a little bit more on that corally side. Like I've mentioned before that that's not my favorite kind of shade profile. So in comparison to the Dior Backstage Pink Glow blush, uh, I don't know if this is going to show up on camera. It actually looks like so much more similar on camera, but hopefully you guys can see what I mean. This one just pulls a lot more warm. This is like that really true, fresh, fresh, bright pink, which is the shades that I love. There's so many of these like true, bright, cool tone, fresh pinks that I, I love so much. And I feel like it just helps to give you a much more awake look on the skin. And I don't know. I don't know. It started to just feel much, much more warm to me. It didn't give that true bright pink that I know and love. So I wanted to give a little update and I'm curious to know if you guys have felt the same. I had previously mentioned, I was like, oh, this could be a total dupe for the Dior one. But I'm like, I don't know. It doesn't do the same thing. It doesn't give the same feel. Even the Bobbi Brown pale pink blush is actually like more of that true bright pink as well. So there's a little update. It's still a beautiful blush. Um, It just feels a little bit more warm and coral once it's actually applied onto the skin. So those are my, those are my final thoughts with the NARS Thrill blush. Let's move on to a palette. Uh, the obvious favorite palette for me this month was the Dior Backstage Eye Palette in the shade Bronze Neutrals. This was the palette that came out as part of their holiday collection this year. And I was so, oh my God, like such a pinch me moment to have worked with Dior this month. That is an absolute dream come true and a, a career highlight for sure. I was so excited to have uh, been able to create some content with Dior and playing with the new holiday collection was part of that. So this was one of my favorite discoveries from that collection. And I used this all month long. I know it doesn't look like it. I love the tones in here. I don't really use the the little eye primer that they have here, but all of the colors really got me through. I love this dark purple and this like deeper, it's like an almost black. I wouldn't say that's a true black. Those and the taupe, like I just use them every day. Did my little eyeshadow wing and it was just absolutely gorgeous. And I really loved playing with this. And the Dior Backstage palettes are definitely favorites of mine. I have all of the shades and I love them. And it was an absolutely gorgeous discovery from the month. So that was the, the palette favorite. Let's move on to mascara. I did do a little reaching into the archives and how to read discovery of the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. If you guys have been with my channel for a long time, you'll know you'll know how long standing this love is. And I had actually picked it up, I think it was during the, the Sephora sale. My mind can't remember what I did yesterday, let alone like a month ago already, but I had picked up the little duo of this as a holiday set. Picked this up and it's been a, a huge favorite. Naturally, I was happy to know that my old favorite still stood true and Lancome makes some beautiful mascaras. The Lashy Doll was included in my 2021 beauty favorites and this was a lovely little reaching into the archives for me. I also used up my Tom Ford Badass Black Mascara this month. Uh, you, For me, I know when a mascara goes bad when it starts to have a really intense smell and sometimes you'll be using it 
completely normally and then one day you'll go to do your mascara and you like feel the scent you feel the burn the the smell just starts to go off and then it really starts to get flaky so that's what happened with my tom ford mascara this month and uh she moved on into the afterlife and the monsieur big made its way back into my everyday collection so that's a favorite from this month let's talk about lips guys hi <laughs> i am embarrassed by my brain sometimes but i am a, i'm a forgetful human that is a fact it's a fact that i i don't necessarily enjoy about myself but it is true and i'm horrified i'm horrified that i just cut completely brain farted and didn't include the merit tinted lip oil and taupe in my <laughs> beauty favorites in my 2021 roundup. So here is a, a good loving shout out to the Merit Tinted Lip Oil. It's the product that I've got on my lips right now and uh, I am so sorry. I can't like truly it's in every Landmas giveaway. Like I've stared at this in those piles and in the description box right up all month long like hello please someone help. Someone help with my memory. Anyway yes absolute favorite from the year. Consistent favorite over the last few months and Yes, the tinted lip oils are, are still a fave and dear Merit, I am so sorry to you, my sweet darling, for forgetting to say it in the yearly roundup, but I did include it in the description box and a lot of you called me out and I appreciate you and I'm glad that you know what's up and know what should be in my brain. Love you guys for keeping me on my toes and keeping me in the know with what I'm supposed to know. <laughs> so that's an always favorite. And then uh, a really standout lip fave from this month was the Dior Lip Glow in the shade Plum. This is number 26. I'm pretty sure that I have all of the shades of these, whether it be the glow ones, whether it be the mattes, I love them so much and I've used them for years, but the shade Plum was also part of their holiday collection this year. And it is a gorgeous plummy berry slight lip tint and she got a lot of love from me this month. I mean, still truly like the Victoria Beckham Bizou lip stain was also a huge favorite because anytime that I was going out and needed to put my mask on, that was kind of the go-to, but this is also like I'd apply a lip balm or anything hydrating. This is a really nice option. And now that the cold winter weather, apparently like we're supposed to get the coldest weather in like winter history in BC this year. Like your girl is dry. Actually, because I can't put any products around my eyebrows, I'm like peeling away, I'm flaking away because I'm so dry. So sometimes the days did not call for a drying lip stain, okay? And that's where this came in. If you wanted that same beautiful deep berry tint, but you also need some hydration on your lips, She's a beaut, huge favorite for the month. I use that so much. And speaking of hydrating tinted lip balms, um, an update from the Ilia, the full face of Ilia video that I did this month. I wanted to talk about the Lady Balmy Tint Hydrating Lip Balm because if you look at these colors, colors like the Bizu and the Dior Lip Balm, they're much more on that like cool toned berry side, whereas the Lady Tint is much more on that like warmer burgundy side. So depending on the shade that you're looking for, either of these products will do the job for you. I love, love the Ilia packaging. I think it's so sleek and beautiful. And that was a lovely discovery from that video. And those were my lip favorites, very winter appropriate shades here and some lovely discoveries this month. Speaking of the Ilia video, I wanted to just, here's my, here's my final update for you. The Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. Again, this was a product that I used in that full face video. And then I had updated you guys in a vlog being like, yeah, it's not really working for me. It just keeps balling up. I tried it by itself. It's just, it's just not working for me. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe I got a bad batch. I don't know, but it won't stop pilling. Not truly none of my other daily products, no matter what I put under them, no matter what I apply it with, whether it be my fingers, a brush, a sponge, they do not pill and they do not ball up on my face. So I don't know what's going on, but the little skin tint, it's just, it's just not working for me. And I'm sad because I know it's a favorite for so many, but alas for me, it was just not meant to be. And that's, that's an update. And then finally, uh, I wanted to update you guys on my Laura Mercier Tint Moisturizer because this has been a favorite. This was included like in my fall everyday makeup and it continued onward. And a few people asked me over the last few months like why I was using this oil-free version and not the hydrating one. And to be honest, I, I think I've mentioned this before, but this particular version, the oil-free version had just come in a PR package from Laura Mercier and that's why I started trying it. I didn't even like clue into the fact that it wasn't the hydrating one because this one is just lovely and it looks natural on the skin. But for testing, purposes. I'm pretty sure I've used this before, but I don't currently have it in my collection as it stands. So I picked up the, the regular, the hydrating version, the Tinted Moisturizer Natural Skin Perfector from Laura Mercier to try out. I bought it in the same shade, 2W1. This is the, the difference here. And I bought it to, to see what my thoughts were. Maybe I'll do like a half and half one day and I'll keep you guys posted. But just so you know, going into the new year, I am gonna see what the difference is in feeling and look on the skin. And then I'll be able to tell you which one I prefer. So I am gonna write this down. I'm not gonna forget to update you 
on this in the new year and I'll keep you guys posted. So there's, there's an answer to that one. I am going to see which one I prefer once and for all. So those are all of the beauty favorites from the month. Let's talk about some other random favorites and I'm not going to do any clothing or anything. I actually posted my top clothing purchases of 2021 during Landmas, which I was really excited about. I did a handbag collection. Oh my God. There were just, there were a lot of fun videos this month. So I'll link to that if you wanted to see what my, my clothing top purchases were. And then some newer in bits will be coming in the vlog tomorrow. But for a random favorite, I wanted to mention to you my bathtub caddy. <laughs> Here she is in all of her glory. This is the bathtub caddy. And she is a favorite because this particular caddy took six weeks to be delivered to mi casa. And I have been loving my baths. I have been very, very grateful for our bathtub and our bathroom and our beautiful new home. And I was so excited to decorate it and put all of my bath things into a bathtub caddy. So here she is. I guess I can quickly mention what's in here. Some of my favorites, the herbivore coconut bath soak. I have had this and used it before. She is gorgeous. I think it's very, very overpriced for what it is. Oh my God, it smells so good. But it's one of those products that you kind of have to use alone because obviously if you put anything else in, it's gonna take away that scent. But if you use this by itself, it's such a dream. It smells like coconut heaven. Then I've got my mirror water soak, which has a lovely, I think Este described it as the forest and I totally get that. Very, very earthy scent and it smells very delightful and love the Epsom salts for soothing those sore muscles and the packaging is beautiful. Then I've got some Bathorium products. I bought these from the detox market. Yes, I ordered some bubble bath. This is the Be Calm bubble bath. Love to have some bubbles in the bath. And then I bought their coconut and bourbon vanilla milk and then i got the ancient oat hydration have i even opened these no saving these for a special rainy day i've got my amica the cure hair mask for when i'm soaking in a hair mask in the tub and then i had actually just put this in there because i was testing it that one day and i've been meaning to try it more to give my full thoughts but the fresh floral recovery calming mask i need to remember to use this overnight and see how I feel, but that's just currently in my bathtub caddy. And then I've also got the Olverum bath oil, which you guys had recommended to me when I asked what your favorite bath products were. Smells delicious, very similar uh, scent actually to the mirror water soak. Yeah, very, very earthy and delightful. And considering I use the tiniest amount, I've actually gone through quite a bit of this. She has been loved in my, in my bathtub soaks. And then I keep a giant tub of Epsom salts beside my bath. And yeah, this little bathtub caddy is currently living in my bath and I have been loving them very much relying on my my warm soul healing baths during this winter and the bathtub caddy i ordered off of wayfair the brand is kingston brass i will try to link the exact same one below um and it's great and i specifically wanted one that didn't have like the ipad or the iphone holder trying to encourage myself to be off of my screens in the bathtub and hopefully do some reading while i'm soaking in there so that's my bathtub caddy very thrilled about it Another random favorite from the month uh, is actually in the protein category, and I love to talk about my protein. I'm trying to get ripped and trying to grow some biceps, guys, and I have been blabbing on and on about my uh, <laughs> my chocolate smooth protein forever, and this is very sweet because Dan had actually ordered this for me as a little surprise for the holidays, and I figured I'd share the love with you guys. This is the ghost hot chocolate protein. <laughs> It's so cute. It even has the mini marshmallows and I have been very much enjoying this in the evening. I know I haven't mentioned it in a vlog, but it's just one of those things where I just haven't happened to have a hot chocolate while I've been filming a vlog. So it comes in a little individual little hot chocolate pouch. And to be honest, like my impact protein, the chocolate smooth protein, it would literally taste the same. Like it very much tastes like a chocolate protein, but the only difference is that they have the little marshmallows in here, which is very cute. And then it's got some cocoa powder and some salt. So that's pretty much it. And then you add some hot liquid. I've been adding hot oat milk and doing a little whisk and a little hot chocolate moment. It's been very, very cute to have that for the holidays. It's a little bit of a, a protein kick if you're trying to get more protein in your diet and just makes your hot chocolate drinking experience a little bit more healthy. So that was a really cute favorite. Dan and so sweet and so thoughtful with these things. And I thought that was a very cute idea from Ghost. So I'll try to find those and link them below for you. And then my final update, I still don't have my full update from you on, on the clip front, but in case you missed that day on Instagram where I did a whole blab about hair clips, just know I'm going into 2022 as a clip gal. I'm embracing the heatless hair. I have a goal of doing heatless hair in January. And I just really wanted to expand my, my heatless hairstyle styling with some fun clips. It was just something that I never really did with my hairstyling. And I had asked you guys for your favorite brands. I made some orders and I, it's been over a month, maybe even two at this point. I have no idea. It's been a long time. I am still waiting on one of my orders. 
from a local company in Quebec. Like, I don't know what the frig <laughs> is going on with, with the deliveries right now, but somewhat, something's lost. I don't know, I don't know what to say, but I don't have all of the clips yet to give you a full rounded review, but I wanted to mention a few of the brands that I uh, shopped from anyway. So I made an order from a brand called Super Crush, and this is a nice big tortoise shell clip claw that I bought. I need Armin to teach me how to do the, the TikTok hair because I have not been able to do it. I am completely incapable when it comes to hair. <laughs> Armin, I need you. Uh, yeah, this one's very cute. And then I ordered from a brand called Cove. Really like this one is so adorable. I really, really love this sweet little shape. It's really nice. This one's like really tight tight, nice grip. And then I made, like, this one was a very expensive, expensive purchase, but I wanted to try it because so many people talk about this brand on Instagram. I had to test it for, for curiosity's sake, but I had actually posted a photo on, in this one on Instagram. Felt like it was a good clip hair day, but this was the Tortware. A lovely little bedazzled edition. I thought that was very cute. I really liked the color and how unique looking this was. So those are my little clips. I also ordered some from Amazon. I can't find them anywhere. I have no idea. They were just like little solid gold metal ones. Nice and cheap as chips from Amazon, but I, I'll link them below. I'll link the, the actual set I bought. They are temporarily lost. They shall be found for the new year, but just so you know, new in clips. I can't wait to test out all of the clippity clip hairstyles. And I feel like it's very in right now. My nineties inner child is coming out and feeling nostalgic with this whole resurgence of the clips. And I look forward to having shiny, healthy hair in the new year. Now, as far as other favorites, when it comes to like books and TV shows and things, I am still making my way through the Priory of the Orange Tree. I don't know what it is, guys. Like, it's good. It's getting better for sure. But I think just with this month being as crazy and busy as it was, I would read like one page and then absolutely knock out in bed. I just, reading has not been a priority this month and I'm sad. I really wanted to like hit a certain number of books before the end of the year and be able to like add more to my book club highlight, but it just didn't happen this month. And I definitely did a lot of TikTok scrolling and I really don't want that to continue into the new year, but still going on that book. I do not have a book update for you. TV shows, you best believe that my little holiday break here is gonna be spent watching The Witcher season two and Emily in Paris season two. Absolutely can't wait. And if you guys have any other TV show recommendations, please let us know in the comments below. And that my friends wraps up my December wrap up. Those are all of the beauty products and random things that I loved during the month of December. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below what you loved in December. And I just wanted to say like today isn't the final video of Miss, but I just wanted to thank you nonetheless for spending the month with us here and it was it was a lot of fun and we had a lot of fun product discoveries there were a lot of lovely favorites from this month and I just wanted to say thank you for hanging out with me and being here during this uh, month of Landmas and today is actually day 11 of the Landmas giveaways it's the final giveaway of the makeup bundles tomorrow will be the final giveaway of Landmas in its entirety with the sneaky little surprise giveaway that I always like to do at the end so be sure to check the description box down below it's the final day that you can enter to win the the entire box of goodies and wanted to say congrats to all of the winners thus far and i hope you guys have been loving the giveaways and with that my friends i'm going to love you and leave you i will see you all tomorrow for the final day of landmas thank you all so much for being here and for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video and we'll see you tomorrow bye